illegal. Right. Yeah. So why don't you have any legal documents? Over the past several weeks, years. the Blue Paper has been reviewing as many immigration arrests involving the local Monroe yeah, right. County yeah. Sheriff's Office. No, I'll still let the cousin pick it up. Not in jail. Sheriff Rick Ramsey has declared that his department doesn't have an immigration enforcement policy and that he leaves the matter entirely to the discretion of his deputies. There are no reporting requirements, no guidelines, and no apparent oversight. We wanted to know how sheriff's deputies are exercising that power. Not an easy thing to report on since there is no accounting of this collaboration with Border Patrol. Are you a legal citizen or no? Huh? The only way to investigate has been through tips and the hope that the body cam video has not yet been erased pursuant to Florida's That's public records. subject illegal, illegal from Argentina has been here 16 years, he says. One thing surprised us. In every case where a deputy felt that it was his duty to enforce federal immigration law, the urge was limited to the immigrant, never his American employer. Here is Deputy Lariz detaining Nestor Duarte in Key West. And this is Duarte's boss at El Sibone restaurant, speaking with the deputy and Arnold the Border Stone. Patrol agent. Apparently, he's employed Duarte, a suspected undocumented alien, in his kitchen for 14 years, also a violation of federal immigration law. Yet no one will feel compelled to pursue enforcement of that part of the federal law that morning, and Duarte alone ends up facing the consequences. The father of two is now fighting deportation to Argentina. Here is the arrest of Julio Souza, a suspected undocumented immigrant. He complained to the deputy that his boss knew he didn't have a driver's license. Why are you working and, not, and driving a car when you have no driver's license? Yeah, that's what I try to explain my boss. And, uh, and uh, I tell him, you know, I can't drive because I don't have no driver's license. But he say, no, you're going to burn the first because we're building the part right here. Right. And, uh, and I tell him, Soso would be delivered to immigration officials to the next day at boss, the county man. jail. They don't have well, why? But the company that sent an unlicensed and undocumented driver onto the road was barely warned by the officer. Are the keys in there? She can take it? Yeah. Okay. Just so you know, he told me that you guys knew about that he had no driver's license. In other cases, the immigrants clearly believed they were victims of racial profiling. Here is the case of Linnell and Yoni Huete. Deputy John Allen found them parked allegedly partially blocking the roadway on 5th Avenue on Stock Island. Upon discovering that they spoke only Spanish, deputies detained them for an hour and a half waiting for Border Patrol to arrive. Um, they're in front of that. Puro uso los americanos. Racistas. Me han detenido por nada, por nada me han detenido. Border Patrol would readily determine that both young men were residing legally in the country and let them go home. In his report, Deputy Allen wrote that he'd called Border Patrol because he needed a Spanish translator. However, a Cuban-American is seen translating for the deputy within minutes of the initial arrest. June. Border Patrol responded to the Blue Paper's inquiry stating that they do not staff positions to serve solely as foreign language translators. Finally, millions of people viewed the video of Marcos Huete Hernandez being questioned about his legal status while laying injured after being hit by a truck. Many felt the questioning by Monroe County Deputy David Lariz was tainted with disdain and prejudice. You're illegal? Are you a legal citizen or no? Huh? You want an ambulance or no? Huh? Sheriff Rick Ramsey declared on US1 Radio that the deputy could have used more discretion. Yet, his department has no official policy or record-keeping on immigration enforcement. In the case of Merrick Kubik, the only...
record of his May 31, 2017 encounter with a sheriff's deputy is a note mentioning that the car had been towed away. The interaction, including questioning, arrest, and transfer to Border Patrol, left no trace aside from the soon-to-be-erased body cam footage. According to City Commissioner Sam Kaufman, more confusion comes from the fact that unlike the Sheriff's Department, Key West PD has adopted a don't ask immigration policy. In this case, we have the Sheriff say, uh, saying to us that he doesn't have a policy. And so uh, that, that, that raises some concerns to me and I think also it, it uh, enables some confusion in the public. Uh, many folks in the public don't necessarily distinguish between one law enforcement officer and another law enforcement officer. I've had uh, deputy sheriffs come up to me and thank me for pushing this issue because they want, they've, they've told me they would like clarity on what the issue is. Uh, I think I mean, we should at least know what the policy is. Yeah, he definitely over, he violated because then he's working on top of that and Border Patrol's taking him. So. Okay. I mean, am I doing the right thing? 